Don Burgess is a grateful man. My pit has uh, given away. Grateful to live in such a good neighborhood and grateful to have a home he and his wife can call their own. However, his sense of thankfulness is somehow holding firm despite his inheritance of what appears to be a hidden problem that's been lurking just feet beneath his sleepy hollow driveway that has resulted in this spectacle, a sinkhole. Well, I first noticed something was wrong about two and a half weeks ago um, when a couple cracks appeared in my retaining wall. And at that point in time, they were only like uh, maybe as wide as two slices of paper, two pieces of paper. And uh, the next day, the wall started cracking some more. And then the and then after that crack, then the, the top part of the driveway parking um, started to give away. But the true extent of his problems wasn't revealed until this morning. But this morning I came out and I looked about 930 and it had sunken in a little bit. Um, but then when I looked out about an hour or so later, the whole thing had, had caved in. To what we see now. Yeah, I mean, and um, D and J was supposed to be here to to do some excavating anyway, so the, at least the timing on it's good. A collapse led to a broken drainage pipe, which has made things worse because draining water increases the instability of the soil. Having purchased the home in 2005, rectifying the problem is one issue. The other is the premium it will cost. I contacted Colonial Insurance when I first noticed the problem about two and a half weeks ago. And they told me that uh, this was normal wear and tear and not uh, covered under my homeowner's insurance. So I'm going to be out of pocket at, at least five figures. Mr. Burgess has been told the pit can be fixed. However, when remains to be answered. Part of the thing is they'd like to get a, a pre-made um, pit to, just to put in there. That way we don't have to leave the house because we don't have any running water in the, uh, you know, to use. Um, so uh, hopefully some. Sorry, you, you said you will have to leave the house. No, if you they if, if if they find the a, a pre-made pit, then they can, and they can just drop it in there, mm -hmm. and they don't have to disturb the other pit, then we won't have to leave. But if I mean if they have to do both pits, then we'll have a problem because that's not only myself or my wife, but we have a tenant downstairs, you know, which is happening right in front of her. Where she, where she lives and hasn't been pleasant for her as well. He passes on this lesson for other homeowners. Well, I think it's one of the things, like if you're going to have your homeowner's insurance policy, this I would never have thought to, to ask about whether or not this is covered under my policy. Um, so it's something that they they need to do. I think like my big concern right now, I mean, if it, not that I want it to cost ten or $15,000, but I mean, that's the reality. I hope it's not that more than that. But, um, you know, this, this, this area of Hamilton Parish is known for having a lot of caves. And uh, when the guy from planning was here, he was mentioning how, you know, the, you know hopefully there's not a cave system underneath my, my place.